What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host a podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to the world's finest assassin. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you'll be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got Patreon, channel membership, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to the world's finest assassin, episode 11. Last episode, Dia and Luke had a date, and it looked like Dia's last goodbye to him, like she's going to sacrifice herself. And towards the end, 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 post credits end of the episode, they show that it's been requested that the Tuahades assassinate Dia. And we're going to find out why, how, and whatever they're going to do after it's because we know Dia ain't going to die. Mm-mm. So... Most likely, they're probably going to probably fake her death, but why? Choice of betrayal. This was part of the post credit scene. I want you to do it. Dia Vicon. International problem. Their personal feelings? Does he mean like Luke's personal feelings? Throwing the most of his wealth and land. They've turned their attention to Dia. They want him to turn in Dia. She's beautiful, possesses powerful magic, likely to produce a good heir. Oh, Dia was going to agree to it too. That's why she was doing like her last goodbye thing. She was willing to sacrifice herself. Ooh. But their loyal subjects are like, Nay, we shall not surrender Dia. Wow. The client is Dia's dad. Rather pretend to have her killed her. So this is the how and why of Dia's assassination.
repay my debts to Count Vicun. Oh, the dad's like, then I'll go. But I wouldn't make it in time. Oh, dang. He's like, I'll go, but I wouldn't make it in time. Shoot. <laughs> Ordinarily, this is a job he shouldn't accept. But he's already made up his mind. He will choose. Because he's not a tool anymore. Make my own choices, judgments, and decisions. Three reasons. Calling for me now. I can't imagine you doing that. <laughs> he would for his wife. Yeah, we call it, we totally saw it. They look alike. Both Dia and the mom. The silver hair, the eyes. Both Twahede men have fallen for Vikun women. There must be like a very, like, Huge compatibility between the houses. So this is going to be a second generation. Where a Twaha Day man and a Vikon woman get together. I wonder if there's going to be like a tradition later on. She's going to carry him. Wait, wait, wait. Is it naturally windy or is this just a dramatic thing to show that they're doing some wind resistance? Slipstream. I like the science behind this. Like the logic behind the actions and such. He did it so he could use me because I had mana. She knows. She's she's always known that she was going to be used as a tool for her mana. I guess she was making the most of her, her of her situation because before her lifestyle was 
junk. She's like, I got mana, I'm gonna use it for him. You guys notice that her wind resistant shield thing has a clover on it? I like the attention to detail for that. See? See? Oh, look at that. Her drive, her determination. So dramatic. If he wants to save Dia, I'm going to support him as much as I can. Because that's what he wants. Yo, that was dramatic. The breaking of that barrier thing, her scream, her being blown away, she's crying out of frustration, she wants to try the hardest she can, but she has reached her limit. I wonder if that's like another meaning of please don't let my efforts go to waste. Please show that my efforts have made results of your mission being successful. Have I been useful? Validate my usefulness. Oh, look at that, the crying, the tears of all kinds of emotions. Yo, what do you think she was crying about? Like, could be everything that we talked about already. It could be like the obvious, but I would like to know what you guys think. Ooh. He acknowledges that Luke is stronger than him. Well, he's been acknowledging that ever since saying that Luke does have more mana than him. Cover operations. This is 14 years ago. Isn't Luke like 14 years old? I shall await its death. Is that Luke? Like waiting for his death so he can be reincarnated? Interesting how they're showing pre-reincarnation. Huh. Go. 
clashes of projectiles. Dear! Dear has been using her gun. She's been going pew pew pow pow. Choose, judge, and kill of my own free will. That's going to be his mantra. What a clean kill. Ho ho ho! A lot of wind using in this episode, huh? Or wind. Metal pellet users. That's what they're called. Metal pellet users. <laughs> Did he make arrows specifically to hold these stones so he could use it like this? Genius. Would you say they're like grenades? Or cannonballs? Or bazooka guns? Dang, they cause a lot of damage. <laughs> Damn. Don't group up. Spread out. You dead. Don't miss this chance, people. Oh ho ho. Did he just destroy evidence? Why did we focus on that woman's dead body? Is that going to be used to fake Dia's death? I wonder if he's going to make that body look like Dia's. If not, they would have to burn the building. With the body in it. And make it look like it's Dia's body. How are y'all gonna do this? And you saw that Dia has faith in Luke. She's like, I believe in you. I know you're gonna come.
Look at that, lovers. Reunited. She's like, you really came? My faith, my faith was not wrong. And y'all know, we learned our lesson from the last episode. There's going to be something post-credits. Mm-hmm. Divine treasures. Ooh, are we going to fight the hero on the next episode? And that was my reaction to the world's finest assassin episode 11. I'm like thinking they're definitely building up to the fight with the hero. They got Dia now. And now the party is complete, I believe. I'm looking forward to the next episode because I have no idea what's going to happen. Like, I'm hoping the hero's going to show up. But besides that, what did you think about this episode? And what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, links to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to the world's finest assassin, episode 11. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters!